Mike Gesicki is smart enough not to close the door on anything, but he's also smart enough to know he likely has played his last game with the Miami Dolphins. The five-year tight end from Penn State is scheduled to become an unrestricted free agent in two months and it's difficult to envision the Dolphins making him much of a priority after God has his lowest snap count since his rookie season of 2018. This after the team paid him $10.9 million in 2022 after putting the franchise tag on him. The tag was applied and signed by Gesicki before the Dolphins acquired wide receiver Tyreek Hill and it's entirely reasonable to wonder whether the same move would have been made had the team known it could wind up with Hill on the roster. With Hill and Jalen Waddell creating havoc with their ridiculous speed, Gasicki became an afterthought in head coach Mike McDaniel's offense, in part because of his lack of blocking prowess. Truth be told, Gasicki is a great fit for an offense that values a tight end that looks more like an oversized wide receiver. That's not the Dolphins. Mike Gasicki's immediate future Gasicki was scheduled to become an unrestricted free agent last offseason as well before the Dolphins applied the franchise tag, which clearly isn't happening this year, yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting for sure, Gasicki said Monday during locker cleanout day. I don't really know how it all works. I'm going to meet with my agent at some point in the near future. I'm gonna go upstairs and talk to Chris Greer and Mike and those guys today and just kind of gauge their expectations and what they're thinking moving forward to see if I got to keep cleaning out this locker or not. But, ultimately, we'll see how it all plays out. Gasicki finished the 2022 season with only 32 catches for 362 yards, a drastic drop from his 73 to 780 totals of 2021, though his touchdowns went up from 2 to 5. He had another touchdown catch in the 34-31 playoff loss at Buffalo on Sunday, punctuating the score with his unique version of the gritty, been here for five years and have loved every second, the good and the bad and the ups and the downs and all that kind of stuff, Gasicki said. So if my journey brings me back here next year and I'm back here in April and OTAs, I mean, I'll be here with a smile on my face. Gasicki could leave behind good friend Durham Smythe. If Gasicki indeed does leave, he no doubt will miss his Dolphins tight end partner of the past five years, Durham Smythe. The two became really close during their time in Miami, often pumping the other's tires or throwing a friendly jab during their media sessions. Gasicki confirmed he and Smythe did talk about the possibility that the Buffalo playoff game might have been their last as teammates. Yeah, I mean, we definitely talked about it. Gasicki said. I got his jersey back here. I mean, that's my guy. Love playing with him, love honestly growing these last five years with him. It was awesome. So I already told him, he's only got one year left on his deal, if I go somewhere next year, he's coming. He's coming right behind me. So we'll see how it all plays out. But if that was it, we went out having fun.